Hi, I'm Irene with Girl Talks Fish, and yes, despite my best efforts, I ended up catching the virus. So I'm all headachy, congested, feverish, that kind of thing. And I barely have the time or energy to take care of myself, much less my fish. But life must go on. They still need somebody looking after them. So I wanted to share you my top five time-saving techniques um, that you can use, hopefully, if you're ever sick or if you're crazy busy like I usually am. Tip number one has to do with testing water parameters. Now, I used to be a die-hard API master test kit user. It has those little test tubes and reagents that test pH, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. But nowadays, um, with my aquariums, I'm mostly interested in nitrate. And this test takes seven and a half minutes to eight minutes to run, just so I can tell how much fertilizer I need to add or how much water to change. And that takes a lot of time. So nowadays, honestly, I just use test strips. So we've got the aquarium co-op test strips and I like them because it only, like I said, takes 60 seconds and it tests a number of things besides nitrate. And I'm not only interested in nitrate, but also GH or water hardness, just because my water is super soft. So I need to know when I need to add more minerals so that my plants and invertebrates will do well. Time saving tip number two is my Python no water change system, which is basically a very long aquarium siphon that has one end that can hit hook directly to a sink. So if you've seen my previous video on how to clean a planted aquarium, you'll notice that I didn't use any buckets to transport out the dirty fish tank water and to refill in clean water into my aquarium. Instead, I use this 50 foot python um, aquarium siphon that basically one end goes into the tank and then the other go end goes directly onto my lawn so that I can put the dirty fish tank water to feed my grass. And then once I'm done, I take that end that was on the lawn and hook it up directly to the sink, turn on the faucet, and then that water pours back into the tank. Easy peasy, no buckets needed. Probably the thing that takes the longest is just winding this thing up. Tip number three is to use some kind of automatic fish food feeder. Now I am not so sick that I can't get out of bed, but if I was in that position or if I was going out of town or if I just really wanted to amp up the feeding of my fish to condition them for breeding and grow up my fry, this little machine is the way to go. I like the aquarium co-op one because it doesn't require any double A batteries. You can actually use a USB cable to charge it, which is pretty cool. And then I like to use pellets to fill up the drum just because I feel like they're kind of evenly sized and they pour out pretty easily. You just adjust this opening to determine how much food you want to come out. And if that opening is still too big, just cover it with a little bit of scotch tape. And then whenever the drum rotates, that amount of food will fall out each time. I think you can program this thing up to four times per day. Pretty cool. I would say one of my biggest pet peeves in the uh, hobby would be having algae on the tank walls just because then you can't see the fish and plants and it just makes like, everything look gross. So a few tips and tricks to help there would be A, Definitely have your light on a timer so that you're not growing that much algae in the first place. B, get the help of some algae eaters like autosynchless catfish and nerite snails. Definitely a huge help. And then C, uh, get a MagFloat algae scraper. They're really nice because you don't even have to get your hands wet in order to scrape off the algae. You just, you know, every time you pass the tank, just do a few swipes here and there and the gunk just comes right off. For more tips and tricks on how to get rid of algae, make sure to check out my videos I have over here. Now I know I just went through my siphon uh, system and my algae cleaning techniques, but the biggest time saver in my opinion is not having to clean the aquarium as often, period. <laughs> so I know some people really enjoy that, but if you're super lazy like me, here's what you gotta do. A, get a bigger tank. Like I feel like my 10 gallon and 20 gallon aquariums, because there's more water, they don't get as polluted with fish waste as quickly. And the water parameters seem to be a lot more stable versus my five gallon tank. I feel like I'm always having to babysit and watch really carefully because those water parameters can swing pretty drastically if I'm not careful. B is not to overfeed your fish. So if you are seeing lots of excess food on the gravel, don't do that anymore. If your fish are obese or there's constantly strings of poop hanging from them, feed them less, portion control. 
C, speaking of fish waste, get fewer fish. I know a lot of people, they want to see a beautiful aquarium full of fish, but you know, the less fish you have, the less food you'll have to feed them, the less poop will be produced, and then the less often you'll have to do water changes. And D, the most important component is to get as many live aquarium plants as possible because they will actually consume those toxic nitrogen compounds that come from your fish's waste. So imagine your aquarium should look like a forest full of trees with very, very few animals in sight in comparison. I used to have to do massive water changes every single week, which took about 30 minutes to an hour per aquarium. But now because of those plants that I added, I often have only zero PPM nitrate and have to add fertilizer to make sure that my plants stay well fed. But to me, adding a few pumps of fertilizer is a lot easier and quicker than having to do a full water change. If you've never played with live aquarium plants before, you've got to check out this playlist I have over here on five things I wish I knew before I started a planted aquarium. So you can learn about some of my best practices and mistakes to avoid to keep your plants happy and healthy. Take time to enjoy your aquariums. I'll see you in the next video. Yes, I made it. Now I'm going to go to bed.